Hi, Alice Kuypers here making a video for you about how to make time for writing. I get asked this a lot. I have four small children and I work uh, teaching as well as writing as much as I can in the spaces between dealing with my seven month old baby and my two year old and my four year old and my six year old. My three top tips for making time for writing. One, I really think it's important for you to tell yourself that your writing is a big deal. It matters to you. It's not something that needs to be done frivolously. It's something that's really essential to who you are. So if you want to write a book, you have to believe that it's worth it. You have to tell yourself that the time that you're taking away from your kids or from your real job is worth it because your book, your story, your piece of writing is worth it. The second thing you need to do is be focused and clear with yourself. Okay, I only have an hour once every Saturday, but that's my time for writing and I'm going to do that. And plan in the space before you get to your one hour a day or one hour a week or one hour a month, whatever it is, plan what you're going to do so you know when you sit down that that's the time and that's what you're going to do. And in the spaces before you get to that time, you'll be thinking about it, having ideas and focusing in. So let's say I know that on Thursday morning I have two hours for writing. Well, you can be sure that Wednesday night, Tuesday night, Monday night, in the times when I'm dealing with the children or bathing them, a little tiny bit of my mind is clearing out and knowing, okay, Thursday morning I'm going to be working on Polly Diamond for two hours. So my creative brain is already getting there. And then my third tip for making time for writing is find a space for yourself. For me, the space is actually when I put on my headphones. I don't need a physical space, I need a oral space, I need that moment when the music is in my head to be able to focus and concentrate. So maybe for you, you need a desk or maybe there's a cafe you can go to or maybe there's a corner of your house where you have a, a chair where you can sit or maybe your apartment has a balcony when it's nice and warm and you can work. I don't know, it's freezing cold here in Saskatoon, so maybe not. But find yourself a space and dedicate that space, whether it's a mental space or a physical space to you and to your writing. So take it seriously, plan what you're going to do when you have that time for writing and then make yourself that space. Go to that space and get to work. I really hope your writing goes well. Let me know how it, let me know how it all goes and I look forward to more videos with you in the new year.